Hi all. I want to make some videos about oyster mushroom yields. Most likely there will be four of them. Today we will figure out how to correctly calculate the yield of oyster mushrooms. And in the rest of the videos I will tell you how the yield of oyster mushrooms depends on the properties of the substrate, the size and weight of the mushroom block, and the microclimate in the growing room. The easiest term is the yield of oyster mushrooms per bag. In this case, everything is simple, we have a bag of a certain weight, we collect a certain weight of mushrooms from it. For example, a bag weighs 10 kilograms. From the first flush it is possible to collect about 2 kilograms of mushrooms, plus or minus 200 grams. That is, the yield per bag ranges from 18 to 22 percent. From the second harvest you can collect from 4 to 7 percent of the weight of the block. That is, in this example, this figure will be from 400 to 700 grams of oyster mushrooms. Nobody collects the third flush in industrial mushroom growing, so we can say that over the entire period the yield from a bag weighing 10 kilograms will be from 22 to 27 percent. That is, the harvest will be from 2.2 to 2.7 kilograms of mushrooms from each bag. It's clear. Now imagine that you have a room of 40 square meters, which can hold 5 tons of substrate. This is 510 kilogram blocks. If we collect an average of 2.5 kilograms of oyster mushrooms from each block, does this also mean that we can collect 1,250 kilograms of oyster mushrooms from this premises in a month? And the second very important question is how much substrate do we need to make per month to completely fill the room? It would seem that what is not clear here. The room holds 5 tons of substrate, which means we also need to make 5 tons of substrate per month. But that's not true. After all, first we put the substrate for overgrowth in a separate room. In the incubator, the mycelium overgrows in 15 to 16 days. We then move the bags to the growing room and there they fruit. However, you need to take into account that in order to collect two flush oyster mushrooms, it takes not 30 days, but from 34 to 37 days. Of course, if you maintain optimal microclimate conditions. Let's look at this drawing. When you bring the bags into the growing room from the incubator, they take at least four days to acclimate to the new microclimate. On the fifth day, primordia begin to appear, from the ninth to tenth day the first flush is collected. The harvest takes eight to nine days. The mycelium then recovers and grows to produce a second harvest. This process takes at least a week, most often nine days. The second wave lasts from seven to ten days. On average, let's assume that the blocks spend 15 days in the incubator and 35 days in the growing chamber. That is, the whole process lasts 50 days. During this time you need to make 7.5 tons of substrate. 2.5 tons of substrate will be in the incubator at any given time, and 5 tons will be in the growing room. After 50 days, you will throw out the first batch of bags and the cycle will repeat. Thus, per month you need to make 4.5 tons of substrate. And only the first batch of bags will yield two harvests of oyster mushrooms. Another batch of substrate will give the first flush. Several batches will be with primordia, another batch of substrate will be between the first and second harvest. If you mathematically calculate the yield using this scheme, it turns out that you can harvest at least 900 kilograms of oyster mushrooms every month. That is, not 1 ton and 250 kilograms, as many people think, but only 900 kilograms. But, in practice, most often it is not possible to collect more than 650 to 700 kilograms. This needs to be taken into account when you calculate your profit. That's all for today. Until next time.